one key point about data augmentation techniques is that the modifications that we make to the training data should be reasonable or practical based on the context of the data itself. So for example, if we have images of dumbbells in our data set like here, then we may assume that it would be reasonable to create augmented images such that a horizontal dumbbell as shown here is rotated to be a vertical dumbbell. So then in our training set, we would have images both of horizontal and vertical dumbbells. And that seems to be like a reasonable augmentation or modification. However, if we have images of treadmills, for example, then perhaps it's not such a reasonable modification to rotate the treadmill such that they are positioned vertically like this. Because how often would a model be passed an image of a treadmill that is hanging from the ceiling or mounted on the wall in this way? Now, this is just a simple example because sometimes we may have photos in our data sets that have been taken either via landscape or portrait mode where the data is kind of positioned in a way that we wouldn't expect. But the point here is that we want the modifications that we make to the data for our augmented images to be reasonable. We want them to actually make sense and represent the type of images that the model may be exposed to later in production.